Hi, this video shows you how to change the fuel filter on the Multijet turbo diesel engine. There are links in the description section below for all the items mentioned. These are constantly updated with the lowest prices. It is always wise to put a drip pan and, if you have one, a mixing tray under the work area. They are not really needed, but if you have a mishap, it deals with any spillage. Disconnect the negative battery terminal by pulling on the quick release lever. The fuel filter will either have two or three connectors depending on the engine version. This picture shows a fuel filter with three connectors. The third connector is for the excess pressure valve and is much larger. The connectors are different sizes so there is no danger of a wrong connection. The rest of the video shows the two connector version. Instructions for the excess pressure version are also included. Disconnect the front rapid connector for the front supply pipe from the fuel filter. To do this, you press in the two buttons that are on opposite sides. Have a rag handy to catch any drips of diesel. Disconnect the rear rapid connector for the supply pipe to the pressure pump from the fuel filter. If fitted, disconnect the rapid connector for the return pipe from the excess pressure valve. Undo the bolt and remove the collar. Disconnect the electrical connection for the water presence fuel temperature sensor and remove the fuel filter complete with the sensor. Keep the fuel filter upright so that no diesel escapes and tip the diesel into a container. If present, remove the excess pressure valve by releasing the split pin. Unscrew and remove the water presence fuel temperature sensor from the fuel filter. Remove the old rubber washer from the sensor. You may need to use an old screwdriver for this. Place the new rubber washer on the sensor. Screw in the sensor until it is flush against the fuel filter and tighten it to the recommended torque of 2 to 3 newton meters. If present, fit the excess pressure valve until it is properly inserted in its seat. Do this in an axial direction to ensure a good seal on the O-rings. Lock the excess pressure valve by inserting the split pin into the splining of the valve holder seat. Connect the electrical connection to the sensor. Fit the fuel filter on the bracket making sure that the bleed tap at the back is inside the special housing on the bracket. Fit the collar and secure it using the bolt. Connect the fuel inlet and outlet pipes to the connectors on the fuel filter. If present, connect the excess pressure valve. Connect the negative battery terminal. Turn the ignition to the MAR setting, i.e. turn it to the last position before the starter motor turns and leave for several seconds in this position. Switch off and repeat the previous step four to five times. This turns on the pump and fills the fuel filter with diesel. 
start the engine and check that fuel is not leaking from the top of the fuel filter or from the sensor. Wipe off any excess diesel.